I haven't been feeling like myself recently, hence the haircut. But I don't know if it's me, if it's the craziness of the holidays, the weather, all of the above, but I am sick of it and I am ready to try to get my shit together again. And that is exactly what we're gonna do today. At least we are damn well gonna try. And what is the first thing that we do when we wanna get our shit together? Go to the gym. It is chilly out here in Southern California. So since I haven't been feeling my best lately, I haven't been dedicating a lot of my time to fitness. And I have also been dealing with a nagging back injury, which has not been fun. So I haven't been extremely motivated because of that either. I guess I've just been feeling kind of discouraged lately because fitness has always been my escape. And when I'm not able to perform my best, it makes me kind of sad. But because of my back injury, I haven't really been trying to gain strength or gain muscle in the gym. And for the past nine or 10 or however many years I've been lifting, that's all I've been doing. I've either been trying to get stronger or work past an injury or trying to build muscle. And it's obviously kind of different because I feel like, oh, is there like a hair on my lip? Oh, it's like a fuzzy thing. It feels kind of different because I, I miss having something that I'm working towards and I miss that general satisfaction that you get when you hit a goal of yours. But without getting too deep right now, I feel like this is the first time in my life where I'm okay with not doing either of those. And I'm just accepting my circumstances as they are. But yeah, I'm about to head to the gym. It is a leg day and I'm hoping that it's not gonna be too packed, but it probably will be because it is like peak morning hours, but we'll see. So that was supposed to be a really quick workout and it was not. As soon as I pulled into a parking spot, my girlfriend pulled up right next to me and of course we have to work out together. I think total we were there for maybe three hours and we did a total of four or five exercises and that is a long time to be at the gym for the amount that we did. So I'm kind of super behind on my day right now. So give you a hug. That was nice. Um, but yeah, I am super behind now. I still have to make breakfast. So actually before that, I am going to head downstairs because I got a notification that I have a package, but I didn't order anything. I don't think I ordered anything. But I mean, packages are never bad, right? So we're just gonna go check it out. But who is this from? Ooh. I'm so confused. sister did you send me air forces <sighs> the mystery has been solved new shoes i'll show you how dirty my other ones are it's actually embarrassing i can't be the only one we're getting rid of those and we're replacing them with these for sure this time to make some breakfast. Christmas is in a few days 
and even though Christmas is a happy time, I feel like it's also a kind of a weird time for a lot of people as well. Growing up, my parents were always super busy running their restaurant, which took up a lot of time. It would be extremely stressful for all of us. And of course, being Chinese and running a family-owned restaurant, we all had to pitch in. So... I worked every Christmas, every Christmas Eve, for as long as I could remember. Our restaurant was located in a town with a very big Jewish population, so it was pretty busy on Christmas Eve. Truthfully, it was just not where I wanted to be during the holidays. I guess it's just safe to say that my Christmases weren't always typical. My family didn't put a huge amount of effort during the holidays or ever. So since I moved across the country, my family is still in New Jersey. And I spent Thanksgiving with my boyfriend's family for the first time this year. Who are complete opposite of my family, by the way. They celebrate everything and love getting the family together for whatever reason to celebrate. But I realized that I felt a small sense of discomfort because it's not something that I'm used to. I mean, of course, I feel extremely lucky being a part of it. It just made me think about all the dysfunctional families in the world and also, of course, my dysfunctional family. But I realized that no matter how peculiar my family might be and how much drama the holidays might bring, no family is perfect. And I wouldn't want to change a thing because if I did, my family wouldn't be my family and I wouldn't be me. But it also made me realize that we don't have to repeat the same things that our parents did. And when the time comes where I have my own little family, I am excited to make a huge deal out of the holidays. So we're going to pop those in the oven and set a timer for 20 minutes. <laughs> Moment of truth. Not too shabby. Biscuit is like super soft on the inside, but a little bit crunchy on the outside. It's perfect. I was a little worried at first because it looked a little dry, but it does not taste dry at all. Oh my god. Right now. I just walked outside and it is literally colder in my apartment than it is outside. I was talking to my friend yesterday and she was telling me that it never gets like this in SoCal, but it is freezing. I just moved from New Jersey last year. I think I moved in mid to late January and I do not remember it being this cold. So if somebody could tell me what is going on with the weather, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm a little chaotic right now. I just got dressed and I'm about to go to a cafe. And fun fact, I don't go to cafes. My biggest fear is walking in, buying a coffee or a drink or whatever, and realizing that there's no seats and I wouldn't know what to do. So we are gonna do that today, God knows why. I'm trying to challenge myself by doing things that are uncomfortable to me because I haven't been doing that and I feel like I should be. So I have been yelping every single cafe within a five mile radius and we are just looking at all the photos on Yelp inside to see if there's gonna be enough seating or if I feel like a lot of people are gonna be at this cafe. I don't know. I just feel like I always have to look at everything before I go somewhere, whether it's like a restaurant or a cafe, just to get the vibe. I think I found a place though, which is pretty close. Their food looks pretty good as well, just in case I get hungry later. I wonder if they have decaf coffee. They definitely don't. Yeah, let's head on over there. Have I seen a chance to do decaf? Uh, we do. We have decaf espresso. Oh, awesome. So I left my SD card reader at home can't get any work done without it. So I just got my coffee and I got a vegetarian focaccia. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but I'm just gonna sit outside and enjoy my meal because it's a beautiful day out and I don't wanna go back to my freezing apartment right now. Ooh, that looks really good. I did not get any napkins. 
I got napkins. I think next time I'm just not gonna get this warmed up because it's literally dripping everywhere. Oh my god, but it is really good. I just got back from the cafe and guys that was so nice i honestly haven't done something like that for myself in probably years and i know it sounds like such a simple task like going to a cafe to get coffee or like sitting somewhere and reading a book or getting some work done yeah like it sounds like such an easy thing to do but for someone that suffers from a lot of anxiety and fear of i don't even know what like i get scared that people are looking at me and judging me or i'm gonna do something stupid or be too loud or i don't even i don't even freaking know i just have all of these irrational fears about going to a cafe it just has made me not want to do it for so long so i'm really happy that i got to explore that today and i think this is something that i want to incorporate into my days in the future at least once or twice a week maybe once we're gonna start small right now i'm actually going to go downstairs to my apartment's workspace to get some work done because the cafe was obviously a fail so yeah <laughs> to happy hour this is the outfit oh, shoot it doesn't look as good on camera i lost my black vest so i only have this blue one but in person it doesn't look this light it honestly doesn't even feel like christmas to me on the east coast it gets really really cold and sometimes we even get snow so i don't know all my life i've been used to very cold weather i'm not complaining by the way it's just different for me i'm definitely not in the christmas spirit like i usually am Let's do the dang thing. 